doing this thing. Would also help if I could see it. That would help. I might be able to make that happen. You can't make that happen. I'm blind. <laughs> I pretend I don't see things. That's normal. Everyone does that. You aren't that. I might be special, a little bit special. In the head. So we're gonna draw this bear. It's a bear! So that we can slap it on to, uh... This picture. It's gonna be great. I expect there to be no problems. Except for my inability to draw animals. And basic shapes. I, I mean, it's just like four wide noodles. Wide noodles. Very wide noodles. Ultra wide noodles. 4K Ultra HD noodles. <laughs> uh, I need to put on my drawing glove while my hand sticks to my tablet. I no longer have bare hands. Oh no. <laughs> the illusion is ruined. Okay. We need to grab... Where the hell did my tools go? There. Oop. We're gonna get some... Also just by drawing the shape yep. of the bear. That's kind of what I'm doing. Instead of just stealing it. We're doing getting some basic shapes in here. To analyze this bear. I've done this before, and I don't know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> Great, we're both blind then. More fun. Yay! Oh, there it is. That's what I wanted. I wanted this. Is it, though? So, oops. Stop moving, bear. I need to get your shapes. Okay. And the next shape we need is a rectangle. For the just arm. Trace along the outline. Probably better practice. Oh, uh, this? Long lines, yeah. Tracing the bear. That kind of looks bear shaped. <laughs> Yo, the bear. <laughs> what is it? It's the, the 
Socrates thing where he's just like a man is like a wingless chicken or something like that. Uh, a man is but a yeah. bipedal, uh, featherless bird or something or something like that. Something along those lines. And then Diogenes <laughs> comes in and he's like, "Behold, a man!" And it's, "Behold, the man!" Great. Fucking Greek philosophers knew what they were doing because they were just fucking high and drunk off their minds. The other half of the time, they weren't. Diogenes was amazing. I love him. He's a hilarious person. That's the thing, he wasn't trying to be, he was being very serious, and he did a lot of the shit he did. Yep. Um, that's what makes Diogenes so great. Is he's just like, the amounts of shits that I give is equal to zero. <laughs> they might be negative, you might be giving me shit on the other hand. <laughs> You know, because he was also known for just, like, going around uh, completely in the buff. Yep. Fucking spit in people's faces and... He'd be a fucking cryptid <laughs> if he wasn't real. <laughs> you heard the legend of the obvious? He wouldn't spit in dude's face because he said he shouldn't spit on my floor. <laughs> I accidentally deleted my vector layer. Oh, now I have to do this over again. Bloop. Tracing live animals is a lot harder than a drawings I guess it's hard to say I don't personally draw but oh, the I, difference I being be... with uh, pictures generally speaking there are defined borders whereas live animals like this bear uh, it's just kind of fuzzy. Where the bear ends and where bear begins. <laughs> can barely be perceived. The weird things with polar bears and how they don't actually have white fur. And how polar bears are actually like black color wise. Okay. And we got claws here. Claws here. what we got. It is the uh, concept of a bear. <laughs> it's, the, it's the vague recollection of a bear. 
This is what a sketch artist hands you when you describe it there poorly. <laughs> Yeah, what I normally do, as you can probably see with uh, this, is when I'm doing stuff like this, is I end up drawing construction and circles and base, basic shapes to draw around. Mm -hmm. Because it's honestly hard to work with this. Other than, you know, just like, it is a bear-ish shaped creature thing. Well, what exactly is the problem? It's just like, you can't get shapes in there, or? Well, no, it's more, when I'm working with this, is like what I was doing before, is I was taking this circle and... Doing things like that basically turning the entire creature into a series of individual shapes rather mm. than uh, tracing the outline like this. Well, yeah, but I, I also like to like tracing the outline if you understand where stuff is in relation. You could do your shape mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, we need... The rectangle, or maybe we'll go the polyline. <sighs> these are my five sided shapes there. Ears. This is basically a rectangle. Bears walk weird. They got like weird joint shapes. When you go like that. No idea what this is, but we're going to use it. Oh, that's what that does. It's kind of neat. I'm having too much fun with this. Stop me. <laughs> Damn it, I drew all of those on the uh, wrong layer. Oh, it's fine. Oh well, time to do it again. This time, but faster. More sloppy. <laughs> Get over here, polyline. Basically a triangle. Do, 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 do. 
then we come in here. Uh, stay in there. We got some trapezoidal shapes here. That turns into pentagons. Irregular pentagons. And, and they then... turn into rhombuses. <laughs> Followed by trapezoids. Followed by a hexagon. <laughs> you actually make a trapezoid. <laughs> Why are you making trapezoids? You fool. Because it fits. <laughs> I only said it was a joke. You didn't have to listen. Okay, that's about where the knee is. It goes in that direction. Kite shaped fiction thingamajig. Oop. And if somebody happens to see this and wants to correct my uh, way of drawing, great, come in and do this. Because honestly, my ability and my knowledge of drawing is... Let's wing it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, we're going to go back to this build the air curve thing. Daisy Gate. French is weird and has unnecessary vowels. What okay. are you trying to do? Uh, not what I just did. <laughs> I have no idea how this works. So you pick a point and then the second point is the straight line on which bend the curve. Point one, point two. Why is it bending it like that? I don't know. Um, probably because I'm dragging. Probably. Nope. It might be in reference. Ah, uh, it's in reference to the line. The curve is in reference to the the points you selected. But I didn't do it that time. Maybe it has to be long enough. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. I think I figured out how the, how this works now. You were doing it wrong the entire time. You yep. Two different buttons. Okay, I actually really just wanted the, uh, the line, so I don't know how to cancel this. Nope. 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 Make it stop. Just undo it. Oh, you'd have to end it where you started. Yeah, I have to terminate the line. Well... We're going to go back to continuous curve. Whee! That's how that works. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never actually that. dicked around... 
Why never messed always... with this part of the uh Are you just trying to get the back chip? Because I think it's fine with what I've got. If anything, it basically just felt like a tube. From around like the the chest point of the bear through around the back. The circle, but sure. Needs to be wider. Helps if I draw it on the right layer. Yeah, it does. No! God damn it. I drew it so much of that on the wrong layer again. You could just. Can't you just delete the image and put the image on a separate layer? Well, that's what I was doing. Uh, I was. I meant to be drawing it on this layer. Yes, I've got... What I mean is you can't just delete the pair off of that layer and put it on another layer? Uh, no, because this is a, uh... Oh, okay. It's what is known as a raster layer versus a vector layer. Mm. And with the vector layers, I can change and deal with all these uh, lines, and I can ma manipulate them as I want. But on a raster layer, once they're on, uh, they stay there. Oh. There's no way to move the lines over. Yep. Or like merge layers or something. No, I can merge the layers, but I can't merge a raster or a uh, or merging a yeah raster layer onto a vector layer mm. it has problems. It doesn't right. translate the lines over very well. Screw it. We're just going to go whoop. Oh. And we're going to get our thingamajig here. New polyline. Bare face is a hexagon. And then I think that's where a joint is. I don't know. I don't know bare anatomy. Probably where the <laughs> bare anatomy is using. It is. It's a very dangerous thing. Dangerous and confusing. Next thing you know, I'll be discombobulated. Mm. I like that word. It's a fun word. Good word. And then we come up here and go boop. That's about where the shoulder is. Presume that's where the knee is. Do they have knees? Yes, technically speaking. Though some may argue that bears are just made out of uh, fur and anger. No, they're not always angry, they're just territorial. Just don't want you touching their shit. Get away from my shit. 
filthy human. Human. Basky Ibushka. All right, and there we have a general concept of a bear. I bring you the mere concept of bear. Hello, I am Bear. How is going? <laughs> All right, now we work on a new layer. After I reduce the opacity on these layers. And I start dicking around, seeing if I can get a bear to come out of this. Oops, wrong layer. You know, now that I look at this, bears are closer to pigs than dogs. Hmm. Or at least look closer to pigs than dogs. Giant carnivorous pigs. Pigs are omnivores. I guess bears are omnivores too, technically, as well. Yeah. And the whole reason you, you they curl the pig's tails so they don't break each other is, is during the, the child stages. And then they start developing a taste for pig. Mmm, delicious pig. <laughs> We're so delicious, delicious, we like to eat ourselves. I, I mean, mean chickens do that as too. well. Yeah. Poultry, uh, poultry just find themselves so delicious they can't stop eating themselves. Yeah, there's the story of that someone who had a turkey. Who had to wear like a, one of those like scratch collars that dogs had so it could stop it from picking at itself. Mm -hmm. Well, because it also it prevents both, and I know a lot of people have uh, have to put on like patches and stuff. And like jet, mm -hmm. like effectively straight jackets onto turkeys and things along those lines, because turkeys uh, will just keep picking at it, and then other turkeys will end up picking at it, and then they'll eat themselves. Yeah. It just <laughs> is that how the photo went extinct and just kept eating it all? I don't know. They're just kind of dumb animals, so it's just... <laughs> like like not only, not only were they dumb, but they just eating themselves. <laughs> mm That's the lower jaw, lip section. He's very happy. Look at him. <laughs> He's a bear.
We're giving the bear anime here. <laughs> you know, I probably also should have just looked up drawings of bears as well. Yeah, there's that too. See how people animate the bears. Maybe I'll do that after after we're done with this, or after I. Uh... Yeah. After I see how uh, questionable my bear drawing is, how bearable right. my bear drawing is buried. <laughs> Let's give the bear like a wizard beard. <laughs> Gandalf the Grey kind of wizard beer. Massive. Something like that. And... But I can't wait to get a uh, new Wacom tablet. Going after the... Uh... Oh, I'm debating on getting either the Wacom 1. Or the Cintiq 16. Mm. Difference being, the Cintiq 16 is compatible with my current... Uh, uh, tablet pen. So I would have two of the same variety. Not, it's still incompatible with uh, the 4K pen that I bought a while ago, like last week, because I couldn't All find right. the one that I'm currently using, which I then proceeded to find. You know, not a few days, just a few days after I had ordered it. So, you know, that's always fun. Yeah. Just why it comes like, yeah, we just, not all of our pens are compatible with all of our tablets because that's how we do things. Which doesn't make sense <laughs> to me, but you know, whatever. Whatever you say, Wacom. Like, all of the human pen, uh, pen tablets have a compatible pen. Maybe they don't. They used to. They used to do it that way. Hmm. But I could just like I could just buy a pen for any of the Huon tab tablets. 
And it would have just been like, yeah, it's a new pen. Have fun. Don't do drugs. <laughs> the biggest issue I have with Huion, uh, H-U-I-O-N, I don't know, they have too many vowels next to each other. It's a Chinese company. Yeah, it's a Chinese company. And so their uh, driver support is a pain in the ass. Or at least it was a few years ago. Hmm. And by a few years ago, I mean like ten years ago, because that was the, that was the last time that I. smile so full of life is gone mm -hmm. <laughs> whoa <laughs> the blue eyes on on the regular bear <laughs> blue eyes brown bear it's <laughs> very menacing <laughs> i mean uh, i had originally gone i was going to go uh, do this all in red oh I don't know, red's like less menacing than blue as far as eye colors go, if you ask me. Red is obviously I'm going to kill you. Blue is like something's wrong. <laughs> I can see in the distant past future. Soul bear. I think... The bear is hit super saiyan blue. <laughs> so there's a species of bear that's called the spirit bear. Um... Yeah, that sounds about right. It's called uh, the Carmode bear. Mm -hmm. It's a subspecies of the American black bear, and it lives in central and uh, north coastal regions of BC and Canada. And it's basically just a white black bear. And it'll maul your face off. Yeah, that sounds about right. I only know of its existence because of a book that I read in elementary school. Or maybe it was read to me. I don't remember. Anywho... Okay, so it goes something like, oops, go back to being blue, baba dee baba doo. And it goes a little something like this. It actually goes more like this. And we got an open mouth here. And a tooth. And another tooth. And we got this section, which is bare lips. I'll give you a big kiss. And then eat your face. Because he's just going to eat me and then kiss me, I guess. It's weird because, like, knowing, uh, because after, like, playing, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 and seeing how small a black bear actually is, mm -hmm. it's a lot less intimidating. Oh, yeah. Because, like, like standing on his on his hind legs, the black bear's like five foot tall. It, it's the the bears you actually have to worry about because they will just overpower you are grizzlies and polar bears. But if you're seeing polar bears, you're probably fucked anyway. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Nothing will stop a polar bear. They will fucking destroy you. So actually, most uh, Komodo bears are black. And only a handful between 100 to 500 of them are fully white. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting. Um... They stand at a straight up. I mean, they're still also relatively small compared to the other. They're only five uh, eleven on two uh, when standing straight up. Yeah. Biggest problem being, they can weigh up to five hundred pounds. And yeah. Can run a lot faster than we can, and so yeah. it's like uh, you're not getting away. Not anytime soon. I mean, I think they have issues. Is it going downhill or going uphill? I'm not sure. E either way. But what I do know with uh, black bears the variety is you don't climb a tree to try to get away from them no they, they will climb you they will out climb you they'll go up and down the tree just to style on you and then wall your face off actually honestly I wish more animals I wish animals in general did that with the exception of maybe cats Catcher's like, haha, I can do this. Fuck you. But, um. Just like animals, just like, yeah, I'm going. I'm just going to style on you. Because I know that I'm better than you at this. You try to run away from me climbing a tree. I'll climb the tree faster than you, get to the top, climb back down, and climb up again to catch you. <laughs> the fucking squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh god can you imagine how just funny that would be you just you like walk by a black bear just freaks out and starts running up a tree <laughs> like a goddamn squirrel <laughs> oh shit I have no idea how to draw fur uh it's usually just like streaks on the on the body. That's probably why I should have looked up how to draw anime bears. Anime grizzly bear. <laughs> how do they do it? Yeah, it's usually just like streaks, usually like going away from where the hair should be. I can't tell if that is a bear or a guy in a costume. It's but it's a smoking a cigarette, so I'm going to presume it's... I have no idea what any of these bears are from. <laughs> and I'm getting some... Uh... Why, why not just take one of the bear people from Dragon Ball? Wait, there's bear people in Dragon Ball? I'm sure there's like at least an animal bear person in Dragon Ball. Because Dragon Ball has a bunch of weird animal people. I don't, I don't think it's the main character. It's probably like one of the side characters you've seen filler or whatnot. But there is no, there's animal the bear people. thief. Um... Oh, yeah, there's also just, like, the animal people who show up in Dragon Ball, just, like, periodically. Mm-hmm. And then there's a, piccolo there's a picture of Cell giving uh, part one of his dad's a big hug. What? I mean, because Cell's DNA is... 
all sort is a bunch of the uh, Dragon Ball people. Yeah. The, the Z, uh, Z fighters or whatever they're called, and he's giving yeah. Gohan a hug, and go he has part of Gohan's DNA in him. Sure. I don't... Did he have Gohan in him? Maybe. Because, uh, I, from what I remember, it was... Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Piccolo... And... Maybe some other character I can't think of right now. Oh, okay, so it was just Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Frieza, and King Cold. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want Dragon Ball Fighters to do the goofy things that Mortal Kombat does and just have a friendship. <laughs> friendship finish! It's just, just, it's just Goku and Frieza staring at each other angrily while shaking hands. <laughs> okay, so I now have an image I'm looking at, and how they do it is slightly more simplified. They also don't do fur in the same way. They just kind yeah. of... It's generally like colored in, where it's just like once you get to the coloring, you just shade it different colors throughout mm -hmm. the bear. And so what they do is they go something. I'm gonna do this on new layer. Actually, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna do this on new layer. They do something along the lines of. Like... Make sure you're drawing on the new layer. They do something along the lines of, um... Uh, da, 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 like that. And they come in around here and be like, boop, 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 boop. And then they're like, boop, 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 boop over here. Oh, for the stuff. And then they go... Do, 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 like that. Bear smiley face, bear nose. Yeah. Not that any of that makes any visual sense at the moment because there's too many lines. You you could just remove the the layer with the other stuff on it, but sure. <laughs> it's a little too late now. You just removed everything. Oops. Goodbye, I. Removing the beard. It'll come back. No, it won't. It's gone forever. It's gonna go boop, 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 doop. Yeah, because also to like a certain point animals get humanized in anime just to make it simpler to draw. Oh, most definitely. It's why uh, Pikachu got less fat. Yeah. Because the more they could uh, humanify it, the easier it became to animate. Yep. The current song that is playing has a theremin in it. All right. You can't hear it, I presume. Nope. Then we're gonna have... 
of those, and then Nero. So then you do make it less Nero like that, and more like Nero like that. You know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's going near, near. It's a bearer plane. I am a barrel plane. <laughs> no, it's Superman. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a fucking bear just <laughs> flying through the air. Just it was like catapulted for whatever fucking reason. <laughs> he looks like a much friendlier bear now. Less likely to mull your face off. Until he gets angry. Until he becomes a barbarian. <laughs> barbarian? And his berserker rage. And we want a nose that goes something like. Like boop. Boop de boop, and then boop. slowly get longer as we go further and further along. And then it's got like eyebrows up here. And then giant eyes. Yeah, but that's just anime rules. I'm gonna give it to glasses. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that, all, that actually doesn't up. look awful. How are the glasses being held up? Super glue. <laughs> I, like, I was, was going to say they're just taped on. <laughs> you know, that, act, that, that looks a lot better than I thought it would. This is Papa Bear. Like He's gonna sit down and tell you a bunch of uh, dad bear jokes. Thank you, Dragon Ball Z GT Bear. You have successfully helped us draw this bear. More than my inability to draw a bear has been able to help us draw a bear. Okay. Then they do something like boom, something like that. Go. And mm -hmm. make this area like dark colored. Yep.
Are you gonna leave the glasses on? Maybe. <laughs> it's a smart bear. He can communicate perfectly fine. Look, he's got 2400 eyesight. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but he has it. Uh, what is it? Uh, 2020 is something that's 20 feet away is can be seen as 20 feet away. So 2400 would mean something 20 feet away would be seen as if it were 400. And that's how, like, eyesight works with the numbers. And eagles have, what is it, 70-20? So something 70 feet away looks 20 feet to them. Or has the clarity of 20 feet away? Yeah. Maybe those glasses are glasses of intellect, and it gives him a plus two intelligence bonus. <laughs> he goes from being he goes from being a normal bear to smarter than your average bear. <laughs> he just turns into Yogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts the glasses on. He just starts standing up right where a hat and a tie. <laughs> If you're going for, like, goofy friendly bear, this works. Well, it works because uh, he's a woodsman first. Yeah. And we haven't drawn Ooh. him as a bear barbarian. And that's when the bear gets angry. He takes his glasses off. And he's like, He takes well, his glasses off and it's just the angry bear face you'd see on almost everything. From, like, Yu-Gi-Oh to fucking magic and like cards and all that shit. the other one the other way. You know, not bad. Looks pretty good. It looks less likely to mull your face off. You go. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could just make it smaller, as in like it's still like a bear, like an adolescent or something. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as the bear's thicker, it's just a full-on grizzly. Yeah, but for the first attempt of drawing a bear. Pretty good. I think we did pretty good. Uh, do you want to try a bear cub now? Get an idea for that? Hmm. Unless you want to do the other stupid thing, which is just armored bear <laughs> after the promotion. And just has like plate armor or something on it. Trying to like think of how that would look on a bear. Um. And where it would be like effective. 
Like obviously on like I mean, I, and... somebody's already dro effectively done that with um I'm sure. I'm sure it's been done. Something like that. Or if we're gonna take stuff from movies, you've got uh, that. Yeah, let's see. Well, I guess it is a small image. From uh, the Golden Compass. Hmm. Which I never watched. I didn't read the book either. I read the sequel. And the sequel to that. Which the third <laughs> book in the series was awful. I don't recommend anybody read it. <laughs> but the second book was great. You didn't actually re need to read the first book to read the second book. The Subtle Knife was a very good book. It made right. sense. The third book, whose name I can't remember. It did not. <laughs> it, it just kind of dragged on in places. Okay. I mean, there's some neat stuff with it, but it's just like, ah, it just feels like it's taking too long. Uh, I don't know why, but th that first image you pulled up makes me think of, like, Skyrim. It's like, bears don't look like that. But that looks like something you would see in, like, a Skyrim mod. Uh, probably. Let me see where it came from. It's not, I, I, I know for certain it's not Skyrim. Digital art, comma, bears, comma, armor, comma, fantasy art wallpaper. Yeah, that sounds more right. <laughs> yeah, there's that. And then there's weird armored mounts that I presume are from uh, that looks like World of Warcraft. Yeah. Which just has way too many spikes for it to be practical or really effective in any way, but Oh it it absolutely cool. completely impractical. I, I think that second one's like the most like practical one that actually looks effective. The um, the one that looked up like where it was just like fantasy art bear armor or something like that. Oh yeah, this one. Boop. Copy image, paste. That one. Yeah. Okay, the glasses are starting to bother me now. <laughs> you can take them off, but you'd have to, like, change the eyes. Actually, it looks fine without the uh, without changing the eyes. Might need some like eyebrows or something. Yeah. Or I could do. Or, or just like something to show that there are like indents in, by the eyes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh... Yes, 
I go boop. Mm. So you're drawing on the right layer? No, I'm not drawing on the right layer, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Alright then. Giant anime eyes. <laughs> All I can think of is just fucking bulbous because bulbous has those exact same fucking trapezoids. Arbasar, the dragon Pokemon, the bear Pokemon, <laughs> <laughs> the dragon, <laughs> the bear dragon. Oh shit. They look like they're different sizes. And I'm not sure if that's fine. Oh, they're they're definitely different sizes. But, but I'm saying, like, I'm not sure if it's fine because I'm not sure if he's, like, looking slightly to the left now. It looks off to me. Okay. Okay, anime bear, come back. I need your help. Now <laughs> the shape is off. No, I got rid of my anime bear search. Anime How bear. How did you get rid of it? What? Uh, DuckDuckGo doesn't save any of your information when you're searching. Okay. Um, Dragon Ball Z anime bear. <laughs> Round eyes. Yeah, it does something like more along the lines of like an arc rather than. Yeah. Something like that, and then they put the eye over here. Because everybody in anime is cross eyed. It just makes the bear look a lot more friendly. Holy shit, that did. <laughs> what? She's like, big anime eyes make it much more friendly, bear. Yeah. <laughs> and then it becomes a big angry bear. If we go with that whole armored bear thing, we just put it so that you only see, like, the color of the eyes rather than the actual shape. So you just see, like, the, like the color, like, bright whatever color the eyes are going to be with the entire, like, face around it being black. Mm-hmm. No, that would be good. Uh, let's see. Anime bear. I mean, we could also try to imitate something like... I 
totally copied this image. Then I paste the image. <laughs> what does that look like it's from a Coke commercial? I don't know, but it does look like it's from a Coke commercial. Uh, Shirakuma's Cafe. Episode 19, probably. You mean probably? I don't know, I haven't watched it. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but alright. Well, Shiro is white. Kuma is bare. And then Cafe. Yeah, yeah, I, I got the name. It's, at least I knew that Kuma meant bare, but... Uh, anime is degenerate. Degenerate as fuck. <laughs> you can be at some points. Okay, so... Anime eyes bare. Now we need to throw armor on him. So I'm gonna take... I mean, you could just have this, and then maybe have, like, the armored one in the background, but... Well, what I was going to do is I was going to go... Merge... <clears throat> combine with lower layer, so now it's all one layer. And control C, control V, and now it's darker. You're making 20 fucking layers. Anywho, that was fun. I'm gonna get rid of all of those layers. So we now just take this copy and shrink it down, throw it over there. Yes, apply the transformation. No idea what this one is, so we're gonna get rid of it. And now we can work on uh, this one. The one you got rid of was the the white bear. Yes, that was okay. the idea. <laughs> Just making sure you know, because you didn't. Okay, so now to throw some armor on it. Uh, we're gonna change colors. So that I can distinguish between that, um... Orange? Yeah, let's go with an orange. Do 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 do. We're gonna take that idea of the faceplate thing that it has. Comes down to here. On the snout. At least it bends inwards towards the snout. Imagine how much of a pain in the ass this would be to try to actually put on a bear. Uh, unless the bear is trained very, very much so a pain in the ass. Even then, I don't think any bear would like wearing this. No. Oh, 
something like that. something like that and then we're gonna have to change how the eyes look but we can deal with that later yeah we could just erase the outlines on the on the eyes make it sharp make it sharp and pointy because spikes means intimidation. <laughs> spikes gives a plus three to intimidation. <laughs> also a plus two to evil. Okay, next. Uh, this section here. Shoulder pauldrons for the bear. Strong bear. This be me. Just having the bear drawn by uh, the artist person that I generally or holy hand grenade. I think it'd be funny. Yes, can you draw a bear in armor? What? Yes, a bear in armor. Humanoid bear? No, an actual bear. I don't think it's wise to spend all your money having her draw stuff. Uh, that is very accurate. I should probably wait until tax returns come in. <laughs> Not even then. <laughs> I think it's worth having them all done again. Just because it means you don't really learn much. Though I do think that, you know, I've done a very good job with this, even though drawing bears is barely something that yeah. I've done. I've drawn zero bears before this. I have two. Well, I mean, you're probably still at zero bears, <laughs> even after this. <laughs> you would not be wrong about that. But I wouldn't be right either. I will say that drawing this bear is much easier than drawing a horse. Maybe. I've tried drawing horses. Horses are awful. They're just All like right. weird gangly legs and their weird face thing. Okay. I would much rather draw a Pikachu on a uh, whiteboard than draw a horse again. <laughs> I 
actually. I think that it was during my physics class in high school. I was like, okay, so we're going to do, uh, like, we're going to draw a Gaussian circle around a Pikachu and determine its electric potential because I've got nothing else to do. If Pikachu, can ha <laughs> if Pikachu stores 10,000 volts. How long before it stores 20,000 and kills you? <laughs> How screwed are we if it discharges all of it at the same time? I don't know, it seems weird to put oh, armor, armor right there, but it would make sense to have underbelly armor. Because, uh, you know, it comes up and it's like, comes to smack somebody and getting stabbed in the chest is... Less favorable. Generally speaking. Uh, but how do, I, how do I draw it from this position? And because you don't want, uh, you don't want armor as much on the arms of the bear, because then it loses a lot of its mobility. Yeah, so you'd have it on, like, the paws like it would be for gloves or something like that. Well, and even then. You just don't have the, the front. You could have, like, just basically, like, ankle ankle armor and just leave the claws and like palms and those essentially mm -hmm. or you could just leave it to the, just, it's just the upper half and the, the underbelly armor this needs to come down further This bear is becoming a superhero. Next thing you know, it'll be taking on the weird gorilla guy from uh, Overwatch. I feel like I should know the name, but I don't. I think it's Winston. That sounds like a gorilla name. Pauldrons to not do that. We want them to. I don't know. It's weird drawing pauldrons on. On a bear. Yeah, that sounds about right.
fair. any of that. Then don't do it. Okay, now to get to layer three and uh, erase in the lines that we don't need. Bigger eraser. Big eraser. Back down to a small eraser. Armored bear. Yes, a bear. I guess we're going to change the eyes a little bit. Less round. More like sharp. Or, you know, just back to the circles. Not even going to put highlights, because the pair doesn't need them. He just stares into your soul. Yep. If I am, it's going to be a yeah. tiny... Like... He knows the sins that you've committed, and he's going to maul you to death. Not for those sins, he's just going to maul you to death because he's a bear. <laughs> he just doesn't, he, he just knows your sins, so he doesn't feel guilty about it. Bam. 
Fire Emblem Three Houses, but Byleth is a bear. <laughs> Byleth is just young bear. <laughs> Three houses, but it takes place in the world of Digimon. You know, I'd watch the shit out of that. <laughs> Just making it more apparent with my lines where things are at, so when I come in later to do stuff they do the inking and final lines yeah that I'll eventually get around to doing for my other character things that I've done maybe I make no promises it helps it look clean yep And then we just, uh... Oops, that was just the armor. <laughs> was it? I thought it was both. Oh, it was the armor and the small bear. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I was confused. Uh... Combine to the bottom layer, and then I can just go. Boop. Control X. Control V. And bada bing, bada boom, it's on a new layer. Hooray! He's coming for you. He sees you. Oh, Lord, he's he gonna comes. eat you. And let's put you back out because you taste like shit. Also, like my uh, axe blade there. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, you could make that, like, the upper part of the robe, like a wolf skin or something. Mm hmm. That was the idea. I was just like, um, just gonna put this like that, because I was using that as the, uh, my reference, mm -hmm. clothing-wise. I still need to get around to actually giving him eyes. <laughs> but every time I put in eyes, they've looked really weird. And so I erased them and just like, nope, no eyes. Why do they look weird? Is it just a bad angle? It's a weird angle. Because I was trying to do... I think it was a lot of also, like, I didn't know what kind of eyes I wanted to draw. Like... Do I want something right. like that?
Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. And then we got an eyebrow there, and... You did it. <laughs> he has the largest eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not even like attached to his head after a certain point. <laughs> they just trail off. <laughs> they just get bigger off of his face. <laughs> like fucking like Wario's mustache, how it just it's not on his face anymore. Or, or you could do the silly thing, give him like eyebrows like Rock Lee from Naruto, where it's just bricks above the eyes. <laughs> and by bricks, I mean like literal, like just like oh yeah, tube, like black bricks. <laughs> The circles with yes. Uh, the, the, the square brush. <laughs> I don't know if I have a square brush. Actually, in fact, I'm pretty sure I don't have a square brush. How dare you. You don't have a square brush. I'd have to look for one if I did. It would be a, a flat line at 90 degrees. I actually like it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Just like I, th I think we go with that. <laughs> Just like eyebrows and short hair, the best combo. <laughs> like, what is up with your eyebrows? What do you mean? This is normal. It's you guys who are <laughs> weird with your tiny little eyebrows. Haven't you seen that guy over there? His eyebrows don't even touch his head anymore. His eyebrows are literally two inches from his face. They're not even attached to his head. They just float there. I don't understand. <laughs> that guy over there, he just replaced his eyebrows with mustaches. He's got two mustaches above his eyes. I don't understand. <laughs> and that lady, her hair is covering half her face, but I can still see half her face. <laughs> just... He just points out all the stupid animation that's going on. And that guy has hair like he's a main character. <laughs> he looks like he plays children's card games on motorcycles. <laughs> Man, 5Ds is it's just like good stupid. Oh yeah, I mean... The bullshit in 5Ds is amazing, and I love it. It is by <laughs> far probably 
it's probably the best Yu-Gi-Oh that isn't like complete original. like yeah like original Yu-Gi-Oh just has the thing going for it that it's original Yu-Gi-Oh yeah and GX is, is like is solid but it has more of like a nostalgia factor running for it than 5Ds mm -hmm. does GX just gets really weird near the end uh, what is it? It's after season three. Oh, after the English, like English, oh, where they go the to like English the Shadow Realm or something three. like that. That was weird. And then like Jaden gets turned into like evil Jaden. Yeah, he gets possessed for a while. And then he's I like, "I've got, I've got something, something that I can't. I'm not allowed to use polymerization anymore because I'm mentally scarred." So I use dark fusion or some shit. So I use literally anything other than polymerization, which still has the effect of polymerization. Yeah. That was weird. And then they had, well, then there's the stuff that wasn't translated in, or that didn't make it into the English dub. Yeah, that didn't make it to the States and as well as just like stuff that was changed. Yeah, well, you've got, for the like, you've got like two seasons that never had an English dub. Yeah. And that stuff was really weird. Yep. Let's see. And then you've got, like, what was it? Zexel that came after 5Ds? Or was this something else that came after 5Ds? I feel like there's something else, but Zexel sounds right. Because Zexel was, like, what, 2013? 2012? Somewhere around there? Anime, Yu-Gi-Oh, tell me. Because Five Ds was like two thousand seven, like six or seven, somewhere around there. At least in the states, I don't know. In Japan probably was like two thousand five. Spinoffs. So when <laughs> so it was GX Five Ds Zexel, Arc V V Reigns and Sevens. I haven't heard of any of those. <laughs> yeah, th those last three, I was like, I think, like, yeah. I think Japan only, if I, if I had to guess. Or if they've gotten an English dub, it's on some network I've never heard of. Um. Yeah, it came out on Nicktoons. All right then. <laughs> uh, the only thing Nickelodeon's good for now is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I'm just sad. And then uh, V Reigns came out on Pluto TV. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Uh, simulcast outside of Asia on Crunchyroll as well. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which is probably why it's also on Pluto TV. Makes sense. Because it's free! Yep. Um... v Reigns. Doesn't look like it's been released here in the States. Okay. It premiered on TV Tokyo, April 4th, 2020. Okay, yeah, so if there is a dub, it's in the works. If there's a plan for it, I should say. Oh, like, the big issue they had is that after five episodes, uh, it was delayed because of the Rona. Oh, okay, so... And then it was delayed yeah, again. Okay. So they're probably just not going to see the light of day for another few months. Oh, I mean, it started re-airing uh, August 8th. But an English dub, you'd have to get a company to pick it up. And the only company that exists at this point that does... Oh, you've got Sony, and they basically own Western animation. Or Western releases of anime at this point. 
Yeah. Which is mildly irritating, and I hate it. Yeah. Sony's one of the few Japanese companies that are that big in America. Mm-hmm. Well, because they own Funimation. They just bought Crunchyroll. Yep. Uh, I think they own uh, the other... Uh, English dubbing studios. I'm trying to remember who the other one is. Um, I think, yeah, Aniplex is the other one that gets a lot, and that's also owned by Sony. Mm-hmm. Um, G-Kids? Never heard of them. Nope. Uh, Konami Cross Media, which was for kids, but... I don't think they really exist much. Nope. Not anymore. Um, Viz Media is basically the only other company that does... Oh, uh, Sentai and Viz Media are the only two other companies that dub anime, as far as I'm aware. Mm. And so, it's just like, well, shit. There's not a lot coming out that ends up going through Sentai these days because Funimation buys it because they've got Sony money. But the problem with Funimation is uh, they also do everything in their power to underpay for licenses. Like they will, they basically they, when they go and buy their licenses, they wait until the last possible moment moment when the value of the license. Uh, or basically when the cost for them to purchase the dubbing license is the absolute lowest, which, you know, makes market sense, but at the same time is dick move Funimation. Uh, it's, that's also a reason why it took so long for Dragon Ball Super to start being dubbed. Uh, yeah, because what was it? Super started in what, 2014? Something like that, and it took, and they are basically a year behind. I think they're still not even done in English dub, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, um, I feel like I I, I saw like barely like a last night because I was a uh, eating something in the kitchen and had the TV on. They were like somewhere in the tournament of power, I think, at some point with like Krillin and Roshi still involved. I don't know if like they either get like knocked out or something, but they, they're in at that point, wherever that might be. How many videos do they have? I think Let's it's like episode ninety nine or something like that. I could be wrong. They you know, are. There's somewhere in the tournament power, that I know, but where exactly, I have no idea. From what I'm seeing, they're on, like, episode 110. Okay. So they're, like, 21 oh, okay. episodes away from the end. So they're almost 20 there. some odd there. But, yeah, they're, like, yeah, super they're, they're far still, behind. Like, way behind. <laughs> At this point, they're almost two years behind, if I... <laughs> yeah, because what? The turn of power finished, what? A year and a half ago, something like that? Yeah. Uh... Like, somewhere in 2019?
came out. It ended. So they're act they're actually almost three years behind at this point. Oh no! Was it twenty eighteen then? It became available for premium users March twenty fourth, twenty eighteen. The last episode of Super. Episode thirty one of Dragon Ball Super. Mm hmm. So, they are like really far behind. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of want to watch Super, but I also don't. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of good stuff in Super, but there, it's also there is a lot of good garbage. stuff in it. There is also a lot garbage. of garbage. <laughs> I mean, the Tournament of Power is... Like, what, 40 episodes or something? If I it is longer than that. Really? It's longer than Frieza? Damn. <laughs> uh, well, like actually, 70? I guess... The Tournament of Power is... Because that's the only thing worth watching, because the first... The first thirds of it are just Battle of the Gods and Resurrection F again. But with that animation. Okay, it's it's not actually 40 episodes long, so it's like the Tournament of Power itself starts at like episode uh, oh, 94. Okay, so it's like 35 something. 94-95. Okay. And there's 131 episodes. Uh, but that whole, like, story arc itself... Um... It probably began, like, episode, like, 70-something of that, It guess. was episode 70... Is... No... No, it's not episode 70. Um, it's like episode 75-ish. Mm. 77, like, that's what it was. This is a tournament that we're going to do. You better train for it. Because it's going to start in like three years. <laughs> Yeah, it's episode 77 is where it starts. And that's when they all just get introduced to one another kind of thing. That's when it's like, Zeno's like, hey, or Goku's like, hey, Zeno. Uh, and by Zeno, I mean both of you. Because there's two of you now. Because time travel. <laughs> Which at that point is technically transitioning from universe, like alternate realities. Yeah. Because they changed the past, but they're still going to the future that's different than the future they would have gone to. So it's an entirely oh, different world. Time travel, like... Dragon Ball Z doesn't understand how time travel works. This is all I'm getting from this. Uh... Actually, they do kind of explain it. Or they try to. You sure? Because the, the trunks are super... It's the same trunks from... Oh, yeah. But they do actually explain how, or basically what ends up happening when you go back in time and mess with the past. And they try to explain that. But and that's where you get... why his hair is blue now instead of purple. Uh, because originally it was blue. I, I understand originally concept-wise. Mm -hmm. Because Bulma's hair has always been like the same shade of blue. Uh, they're so just pretending that there is no explanation as to why his hair is blue. They're just like, yep, this is totally normal. Even though nor uh, Kid Trunks, his hair is still purple. purple hair. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just an age thing. Like, after a certain age, the hair just changes color. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I like uh, TFS's... I trained all this time to become Super Saiyan God, and you dye your hair, your goddamn hair blue. <laughs> and some bullshit like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not feeling like working on any more of this tonight. I was gonna say, are we done drawing? <laughs> Just talking about Dragon Ball now. <laughs> <laughs>
Alrighty. Uh, join us next time where we do something. We're either uh -huh. doing some more drawings or we're playing some Mario yeah. or we're playing something else or something. If I yeah. do end up finishing these, I'll show it next time we do some drawing stuff. Bye. Bye-bye.